what's up everybody how you doing today so for today's video i wanted to make a video for the search and destroy and how to win on search and destroy basically uh the reason i wanted to make this video was because i play a lot of s d and when i play s d with viewers i feel like a lot of viewers don't know how to play it well or they don't understand it i feel like a lot of people just try to go run around and you know try to go for kills and you know when you're playing s d it's kind of like a, str a strategy game i sometimes even get more kills on there than uh, like other game modes and like respawn modes because i feel like i know what i'm doing when i'm playing s d and um so i was kind of like you know last night it's kind of frustrating because some people just kind of run around and try to go for kills instead of actually playing the the mode but so i wanted to give some advice to people on how to play the the mode and how to how to you know actually get some wins instead of just running around and trying to get um you know a bunch of kills even even when people try to go around getting kills they end up getting less kills than they're supposed to you know like instead they think they're gonna go get 10 or 20 but instead they end up getting like two or three because they keep dying every round um you know just running around which is you know not really a strategy when you're while you're playing snd I think that's the beauty of it though. I think playing S and D is super fun because you can have you cannot have sweaty people uh, or they can't be as sweaty. Like yes, skill can help a ton. It'll definitely help you get in a different like you know get in, getting out of situations where it's like a one v three or one v four. But you know if you know what you're doing, if you have a good team and you have good communication, you will win most of the time. So basically, what the the strategy that I wanted to give you guys, or some of the tips that I wanted to give you guys, was when you first, when you are playing defense, when you are not planting the bomb, you do. It's okay to split up, you know. So one, like two people go to A, two people go to B, or you know, one person goes up the middle, and then like if you have, if you are talking to each other, you guys can say, you know, hey, they're over at B, or I see them running through the middle. You know stuff like that so you you want to be communicating with each other because i feel like a lot of people just kind of run around and they don't know what they're doing sometimes everybody just goes to one one place which you know doesn't really help because now you have to run around the entire map to go to you know the a bomb where they planted and they're already set up so you have 40 seconds to you know kill them all or you're just gonna lose the round um, but when you're playing offense, when you're planting the bomb, I feel like a lot of people don't understand this, but you need to go plant together. There's no reason for you guys to go around the map by yourself trying to get some kills because that's not what the, the mode is. Like, that's not the game mode. Unless you're playing a bunch of bots or whatever, which is completely fine. If you're playing a bunch of bots and they don't know what they're doing and you just want to go for kills, that's fine. But if you're trying to win and you're playing like a pretty good team, people that may, and may be even better skilled than you are, uh, that could definitely give you the advantage just because you're playing the way that you're supposed to be playing on S&D. But, you know, maybe people do. I don't know. When I play with, with viewers, I just feel like there's a lot of situations where we're just running around not knowing what we're doing. And, you know, um, I try to communicate, but no one's listening maybe people don't have headsets or whatever but you know i i try my best to help people out and you know i'm even going to be showing a gameplay where we kind of lost like we we had the advantage i think we got a little bit cocky and people just started going for kills instead of you know trying to trying to win the match and we ended up losing and that's like situations where you know if you guys would have just stuck together and played it smart you would have probably won the round you know and um but people are instead going on the other side of the map and you know even if one or two players leave it's a 4v5 now right so that's that's what i'm saying where like some people need to have um you know you need to know what you're doing when you're playing snd another thing is having awareness on whatever map you're playing if you know around them like the maps really well there are definitely maps that i know better than another and i play way better so for example i love standoff i think it's my favorite map to play in i think it's the best map to play snd as well and um you know i feel like every time i play in standoff i know where people are gonna be i know where you know i don't care how good they are i don't care you know when you're playing snd it's like you know you can only you can't respond so um until the next round so uh, I feel like I know what I'm doing and I've, I've beaten pretty good players in that map 
and off of playing S and D, and I've definitely had some really high kill games. And um, even the, the one that I played in, the one that I'm showing right now, I have a high KD, but you know, just because I have a high KD doesn't mean that you're gonna automatically win the match because you gotta know what you're doing. And I feel like there was a lot of situations where it's like a 1v4, 1v3, and obviously it just makes it harder for you to clutch up. And uh, it could have been avoided if your team would have stuck together instead of, you know, trying to go out and get, get kills. But I don't know, maybe people just wanna ha like, don't enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, that's completely fine. You don't have to play SD, you can play respawns. But for me, playing SD is just a lot more fun than playing respawns just because respawns, you know, you kill somebody even if they're better than you and they can just come back and just destroy you. Uh, multiple times and it just gets boring after a while in my opinion and you know even when you're playing a really good team that knows what they're doing they just like for example in hardpoint they're just gonna go for kills and try to you know try to just kill uh not even they'll hold you off spawn instead of getting points just so they can get more more kills and it's really boring so uh that's just my opinion it, get, it can get really toxic and you know, I think uh, playing a, a strategy that's more fun and, you know, people can't just go out there and try to, you know, 360 no scope and even if they die, they know they'll come back. Uh, you can't do that in S&D, but, you know, it's just my opinion. So hopefully some of these tips help you out. You know, knowing, knowing your awareness around the map is a really big key. If you know the map really well, you'll have an advantage communicating with your teammates when you're playing defense and offense. If you're playing offense, go just go plant the bomb real quick. Either way, if they if you plant the bomb, they have to come attack you because they only have 40 seconds. So even your your chances of getting kills probably are gonna get higher instead of you just trying to go around around trying to get kills by yourself, you know. So um, and then defense, you you wanna you wanna you know spread out a little bit, but you also wanna know where they're gonna be planting if they're planting. So. That's just another thing that you guys can know. And, you know, just like I said, so everything right there, you know, is a really good keys to winning s and matches. So uh, hopefully that helped a little bit. If it didn't, um, I don't know, maybe you just don't like playing S&D and that's completely fine. But personally, that's just my favorite game mode. And, you know, if it did, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Finds you wine. How was the stream, bro? We got like no hope, bro. We just play that so dumb, bro. JJ's, JJ's. Yeah, my team is just running out and dying. I know. I keep trying to tell them how to play, but they just, I feel like they don't know how to play SND. If I was in your game, I would have been behind you watching the sniper. Yeah, that's what I'm, I mean, that's what I'm saying, bro. I like SND. I think it's easy if, if you know the map. If you know the map and you know like where to go and like your awareness is good, like it's fun to play.